Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of rectangular prisms and rectangular pyramids and the relationship between their formulas for volume and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have some rectangular prisms. They happen to be cubes. Those are special rectangular prisms here and I've multiplied this picture three times because we're going to need to do it three different times to find the relationship between these two shapes, rectangular prism and pyramid, assuming we have the same base and the same height. So we are going to see how we can derive the formula of the pyramid's volume based on what we do with this rectangular prism, specifically this cube. Now, each of these cubes, I try to label the uh, each of the faces, so starting at the top, right, we're going to go with one, then go around the side, one, two, three, four, so this five is actually that back face that's sitting in the back, and that six is actually that front face that is sitting in the front. So what we do is we start with a, a corner, so let's start with this corner right here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangular pyramid inside this cube and I'm going to connect it to a square base that has the same height. So I'm going to connect this cube from this front corner down and I'm going to completely capture face number two. So it's going to kind of be a strange looking pyramid but as you can see my base is now face two and you see that I've got about half of face one covered here, and I've got about half of face six covered here, and it kind of sits in like that. So I'm able to fit one pyramid in here. So let's make sure we see that I've got, I wanna make sure we've got all of our faces covered here. Face two is completely covered. Face one, I've got half of it. And we're going to have to keep track of these. And then that face six, I've got half of it right there. So what if I were to start at that same corner now? I'm going to go to my second cube here. And I'm going to do that same thing, but instead I'm going to connect back to face five. So right back here. Those two at the top. Goes all the way down there. all the way back here so as you can see this face 5 is completely shaded in you see my so I'm gonna put a little square right there I've actually picked up the second half of face 1 so we are now good on face 1 here I've got all of face 5 and you see I've got half of face 4 covered as well so I've got one more face to take care of. I've taken care of face five and face two. Now I'm going to come down to face three, the very bottom. And so if I do this, let's bring it all the way down here. This is what you're going to find. So I've got this base down here at the very bottom. So three is completely covered. I've got the other half of this face four because it's coming right down here. It's easy to see this particular one. So that's it right there. So there's my face three that I've already taken care of. And then as you can see, I've got this front half of this face six com coming right here. It's taken care of. And look at that. I've taken care of all six faces. And so I've got three different pyramids fitting inside this rectangular prism. Let me show it to you in a different way. So these clean images are what I was trying to draw for you. You notice that I've got three different square based pyramids here and you put them together and they make a cube. And so my volume of a rectangular prism is simple. It's base times height. So knowing that it takes three pyramids with the same base and the same height, I can then derive that a volume of a rectangular prism is one-third of base times height. 